G'day everybody, thanks for tuning back in. Today we're doing some more chicken lollipops. A little bit different though. This is my mum's favourite. My mum's been a little bit unwell recently and she said to me, oh can you please cook my favourite chicken lollipops? So here we go. We've got some sweet and tasty chicken lollipops. Thanks for tuning in. Chicken drummies can be a little bit boring if they're on their own like this. So let's prep them up into lollipops so they look and taste awesome. Close to that top knuckle there, just grab yourself a knife and cut around. You can just use the knife if you want to, to cut away at these tendons, or grab yourself some scissors and just chop into them. Your choice. Once that's done, to get the skin off the top of the knuckle, what I like to do is get my thumb and then slide that skin over the top, grab myself some paper towel, twist it, and then pull it off. As you can see, when you're trying to stand your chicken lollipop, it just falls over to one side. And that's because of this bone or knuckle at the base there. What you want to do, grab yourself a knife and just slice it. It's pretty useless, you can't eat it anyway. So slice it off, get rid of it. And then what you want to do is grab the top of your chicken lollipop, pull that meat down as well as the skin. If you want to chop away at that skin like I did, that's fine. It just neatens it up a little bit there. And then once you're happy, it's nice and flat, the chicken lollipop will sit up nice and straight. Next is the more time consuming, tedious part. All these white stringy things that I'm cutting into are the tendons. They don't taste great when you eat them. They can be a little bit chewy. So take your time. There's a little bone down here too that you wanna to get rid of. Knead it up as much as you can so you get a better presentation. And then that's it, your chicken lollipop is done. To protect the bone, all I'm doing is I'm wrapping it with some foil that'll protect it from burning in the cook. Repeat this with all your chicken lollipops. It should take you around three to five minutes per chicken lollipop. Grab your favorite rub. I'm using Lane's signature rub for this one. As I said, I'm cooking these for my mum. It's her favorite. She likes this rub because it's not too spicy, but it gives tremendous flavor. So just sprinkle across all of the chicken lollipops to maximize that flavor. I'm also going to place a couple of chunks of butter, just so when I put it in the smoker, that butter will melt and the butter will help give flavor as well as keep moisture in the smoker and the chicken. So I'm gonna be cooking these lollipops on my pellet smoker today. I'm actually working, so it's much easier to just set and forget. I'm gonna be cooking it a little bit differently though to what AJ did in his video. We're gonna be going 275 Fahrenheit for the whole cook. It's gonna take around two hours to get to 175 or 165 internal temp, and then we're gonna sauce it and enjoy the goodness of sweet chicken lollipops. Seventy-five minutes into the smoke, I usually wouldn't go and check the chicken lollipops because I know they're not going to be there yet. But for the purpose of the video, let's go and have a look just so you can see how they're coming along. We're getting some great colour into these lollipops as you can see. Temperature wise, I expect them to be around 150 degrees Fahrenheit and it was bang on. Another 45 minutes and these should be ready for some barbecue sauce. So for the barbecue sauce, as I said, I'm cooking for my mum and this is her favorite barbecue sauce on the chicken lollipops. So it's sweet, it's tasty. Please check out the video if you wanna know how to make this delicious sauce. If you prefer, you can put your barbecue sauce into a big jar and then dip your chicken lollipops in. It's entirely your choice. However, my sauce bottle, it's just as easy to pour that sauce over the chicken lollipops and then just smother the lollipops to make sure that I'm gonna get a nice glaze for another 15 to 20 minutes of smoking at 275. Your target temperature is 175 degrees Fahrenheit for these chicken lollipops. You need to go a little bit higher for chicken thigh rather than chicken breast, but just look at the color and the smell was absolutely outstanding. All right, so these are now done and just take a look at this little beauty. 
absolutely beautiful color. Although I said these were from Iran, quality control, I've got to make sure they're good. So here goes. Mm. Messy, I know, but worth it because the taste, sweet, the chicken is juicy. For a dollar a lollipop, these things are outstanding. Please give it a go. These things are awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Well, my mum, she loved them. She smashed all of them. She said they were absolutely beautiful. If a mum loves them, you'll love them too. Good luck, guys, and have fun. See you in the next one.